Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title, today we're going to be unboxing my Sephora Playbox for the month of June. So excited, literally it just arrived like 7 minutes ago. I threw this makeup look on because I wanted to look like Sammy presentable, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I want to go ahead and unbox this with you guys because you guys know I love doing unboxings. They're just so freaking exciting. Before we begin, I wanted to show you guys this adorable like little Sesame Street ring that my niece gave me she's just so cute she gives me a ring and she has a hello kitty ring and she's like girl power and i'm like girl power how do you know that you small thing i love her she's only four and she's just like the woman of my dreams you know what i'm saying anyways i had to give her a little shout out because she's just a little lover anyways let's get started with what's in my sephora play box for the month of june i will go ahead and leave the link down below if you guys want to sign up for a sephora play box for yourselves sephora play box does retail for ten dollars a month and um I always say this in my videos, but like sometimes I'm like really, really excited to get them. And then some, I mean, I'm always excited, but sometimes I'm like really satisfied with the bag box. But then sometimes I'm just kind of like new. But let's hope that this month we're going to be happy and satisfied. This is how the bag looks. I didn't even see the bag till now. It says hot, hot, hot. Let's see what's on the inside. Okay, as per usual, you guys know we're going to share the excitement together. The product's still pretty good in here. Okay. Whew. We have this Living Proof Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream and then the word frizz is like crossed out. Here's how it looks close up and I'm really really excited to test this out because my hair is super picky so hopefully it's going to perform well on my frizz ass hair. Let's see how this smells. You guys know I'm all about that smelling life. Whoa, it has like a very watery feel to it. it smells really nice. I've tried other products from Living Proof and I wasn't like the biggest fan of their products. I do have I think a dry shampoo which I do enjoy but there are other like styling creams and stuff like my hair just not like just did not like agree with it so i hope that my hair is gonna like this we'll see i have high hopes for this we'll see we'll see please behave okay so that's the first product that's included in here a hair product fine i'm not i don't love hair products because of how picky my hair is so i hope they included some makeup in here as well but i mean that's okay we'll see all right Yay, yay. Okay, so this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Now, a ton of you guys had mentioned that it's Bum Bum Cream. Now, I want to say that. I want to say it that way, too, because I don't like the name Boom Boom. You know, it's like it says Bum Bum, but on their website, I do believe that they mention it's pronounced Boom Boom. Um, but anyways, let me show you guys how this looks close up. Here's how the little guy looks. This is a body butter, and it really, really smells amazing. It's a pretty decent size as well. Okay, so first thing I will say is that we did receive this exact little size in our BoxyCharm. If you received BoxyCharm for this past month, this is also something that we received. So I don't know like if they just, you know, wanted to send it out to all the subscription boxes. So, I mean, it's nice if you don't have BoxyCharm, you get this in here. But I maybe would have wished if they maybe would have included a different scent. I think that they provide a different scent or maybe a different product from the brand, you know. But I'll still go ahead and use this. Now I have two of these little guys, so I'll get like two applications for like my full body, you know. So, pretty, pretty excited for that still. Yum. I love the smell. Like, this is the epitome of spring and summer in a tub. All right, moving on to the next product. Let's go makeup. Yay. Okay. <laughs> So this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Queen B. I really, really appreciate that Too Faced kept it the same with their full-size liquid lipsticks and made this the same exact packaging. I love when brands do that and I really hate when brands kind of change the packaging for a deluxe size, but this is the same as the full size. It's just a really nice mauve uh, color. As you guys already know, I usually like to test these products out um, on camera with you guys so you can see how the shade looks, but let me swatch it first. It's really nice. I really do enjoy the Too Faced liquid lipsticks. I think that they look really nice on. They sometimes could have like a little bit of a thicker feel, but to the most part, I have a few and I really do enjoy the uh, formula. So let me put this on. Okay, so that's how it looks on. I also really like this shade because I feel like it's a very universally flattering type of color. It also has like a nudeness to it, you know, so it's not like over the top dramatic and I feel like it'd be great to wear on a daily basis. So yay for this. Okay, next product. Finally, we've got like a makeup product in here. Um, next product that we have, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover like Cleanser thingy. So here's how this little baby chubby guy looks. And in here we are receiving one fluid ounces of product. So excited. You basically have to shake it up. You put it on a pad and then you basically remove your eye makeup with this. Um, it does have a little bit of an oily feel, but I don't find that it really like goes into the eye if you're careful. 
Um, Clinique products generally do not have any scent to them, so this does not smell like anything. I did own the full size of this, and I recently went over to my sister, like my mom's house where my sister lives, and I remembered that I gave her my full size one, and I totally forgot about that. Now that I actually have this little one in my life, I'm going to go ahead and use it and not feel the need to actually ask for that one back because I remember really, really enjoying it, but very excited for that. Okay. Next product, okay, there's no uh, perfume for the month. You guys know I love the perfume perfumes of the month. But in here we are getting these little foil packets of shampoo and conditioner. No, one second, one second, one second. Oh. Um, this is the Nourishing Cleansing Creme, which I'm assuming is like a shampoo. And then this is the Deep Treatment Butter, which could be a conditioner, but it's probably um, a deep treatment, like more than a conditioner, you know? Here's how the packets look up close. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I think it's like Ma Marajo, Maharo, ha! <laughs> I don't know, but you guys know I'm not a huge fan of these kind of products, but we'll see how it performs on my hair. I wish I would have gotten a like sample perfume because I do find myself using those more often than these, but whatever. Okay, and then the final, final product that's included in here is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Ooh, I have to show you guys. This is my perfect... This is my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty much like almost done with this. I have probably a quarter left. Now I have this little one in my light. This is the translucent light version. Hopefully, they also have a deep version. So I hope that um, they also provided the deep version to those who have deeper skin tones. Just because I'm sure this can work for everyone, but still, you know. Here is how this little guy looks up close. You get a teeny amount and then the jar is pretty cute actually. I think I'm probably going to reuse it after I finish this. Okay, so we are getting 0.035 ounces of product. So very, very little. This guy is such a small, smelly man. That's the cutest thing. I have to just show you guys. This is the full size, right? So the full size also, there's like this piece here that you pull up. I love that they kept the packaging the same. It's so cute. Such a cute little man. Okay, so what I will say about this um, Boost Translucent Light Setting Powder is it's really nice. You guys can see from the larger one that I have, I've been using it a ton. I do not feel like this leaves a white cast and it does sink into the skin really, really nicely. I do enjoy the Laura Mercier one a bit more than this, but it, this one is still very much so up there. But I am very excited that it's included because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it because I feel like maybe people haven't really tried it. But now that it's included in the box, you know, Many of you guys will probably be able to try it if you get the same bag as me. So that's the last and final product that was included in here. Okay, now let's just recap. We have the Living Proof Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Bum Bum Cream, um, the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, the um, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Queen B, the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover, like thingy and then we have this marajo <laughs> i don't know how to say it um shampoo and conditioner type of product i just want to see what the theme is it's really cute this little pamphlet okay the theme for this month is welcome to the beauty broad beauty boardwalk this reminds me of like coney island and stuff okay so i feel like it kind of this bag kind of focused on like the skin a little bit of the hair and a little bit of makeup so we got a little bit of everything i really like this whole like vibe yeah, we'll see. I'm pretty excited for this bag. I'm not beyond ecstatic, but it's like like in between, I would say like 60% satisfied, not like 50-50. I'm pretty like happy with the bag. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely let me know what you guys got in your Sephora Playbox for the month of June. Of course, always if you were satisfied with it or if you weren't, if you're canceling, if you're keeping, if you wish they would change something or anything and everything. Um, and that's pretty much it. I know you guys like my Sesame Street like wink. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Looking forward to reading your comments down below. Bye.